Camp Virginia, we're into the sixth hour of a sandstorm. Winds have been gusting up to 65 miles per hour. Earlier this evening, part of our mess tent came down. It's probably in Kansas by now. You see the haze behind me and everything wobbling. We are literally being sandblasted. The night for Texas troops living inside a nomadic style tent felt like riding out a storm in Tornado Alley. A heavy sandstorm swept the encampments of tens of thousands of U.S. soldiers spread across the Kuwaiti desert. 50 Patriot missile soldiers from Fort Bliss and El Paso strained to keep their tent center poles standing at Camp Virginia. Something snapped. Outside, the wind crushed tents for three large dining halls and stripped the roof off field kitchens. Um, the wind over here normally gets pretty bad, but today looks like one of those special days that so we just preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. The sandstorm rudely awakened Patriot missile soldiers who stand long watches on alert for Iraqi tactical ballistic missiles. Well, when do you have to go to work? I have three and a half hours. You're not going to get any sleep? Are you? No, oh, I'm oh, not. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, God. I just want my stuff out. <laughs> Soldiers suffered a small cut from flying debris, but there were no reports of serious injury. And no one suffered the humiliation of being inside a porta potty when it flipped over. There's just another layer of nasty dust to live with, and certainly more to come. Robert Riggs, CBS 11 News, in Northern.